वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज फ्लाइश यूज इन मोटार्स एंड डिफरेंट टेस्ट सो लेट इज गेट स्टार्टेड द इवेल्यूशन ऑफ फ्लाइश फॉर यूज एज अ सप्लीमेंट्री सीमेंटिशियस मटीरियल एस सी एम दैट इज एज अ पॉजल ऑन बिगिन्स विथ मोर्टार टेस्टिंग Mortar is similar to concrete in that it contains cement, water, and aggregate. Except that in mortar, graded sand is the only aggregate present. ASTM, American Society for Testing and Materials, C three one one. ASTM C three one one. describes the procedures used to test the flash in mortar in a standard mortar 20% of the ordinary portland cement opc is replaced with the flash to be tested the data from the flash mortar is compared with data from a control mortar without flash in order to accomplish this the mortars are prepared by varying the water content to achieve a constant workability which is determined using mortar flow this is done because flash mortar typically requires less water then an opc mortar which can increase the compressive strength the most common mortar test are described below number 1 flow test number 2 compressive strength test number 3 air content test number 4 setting time test so let's elaborate one by one first point flow test The mortar flow test utilizes a specially designed table that repeatedly raises and drops a known quantity of mortar 25 times. During the test, the mortar will spread or flow to form a circular mass shaped like a pancake and the diameter of the mass is measured and compared to the initial size. the increase in size is expressed as a percentage of the initial size for most mortars the required flow is 110% the flow test is repeated using a fresh batch of mortar each time until the desired flow is achieved the quantity of water needed to achieve flow is recorded and this mortar is then tested for compressive strength second point compressive strength this is probably the most relevant test to evaluate the performance of flash since concrete is valued mainly for its high compressive strength and pozzolanic within the concrete produces additional cement and thus higher strength once the proper flow is achieved the mortar is placed and compacted into bronze cup shaped molds the surface of each cube is finished using a trowel and the molds placed into a moist curing cabinet after 24 hours of curing the molds are stripped from the cube specimens the compressive strength is then tested at specified curing intervals usually 1 or 3 days 7 days 28 days and 56 days third point air content test mortar is prepared using a similar method as for compressive strength except that coarser sand is used and as an air entraining agents aea is mixed with the mortar to entrain air within the mix after mixing 
the flow of the mortar is determined by raising and dropping the table only 10 times. If the flow is within the specified range, then a portion of the mortar is placed and compacted into a brass cup of known volume 400 ml and the mass of the cup plus mortar determined. Subtracting the mass of the cup and knowing the density of each component, the air content of the mortar is calculated. The test result reported is the quantity of AEA, air entrant agent, required to achieve a mortar air content of 18%. Fly ash will usually increase the amount of AEA needed. Fourth point, setting time test. The elapsed time after mixing where upon the mortar begins to harden is the set time. This test is most commonly performed on cement paste, cement plus water, but can also be conducted using mortar. The test is completed by measuring the penetration of a steel needle into the paste or mortar over the course of several hours. The needle is part of an instrument called a wicket apparatus. This is the picture of wicket apparatus. In it, movable rod weight 300 gram, screw indicator, square needle with annular attachment, mold, porous plate. When the penetration of the needle into the material is less than 25 mm for paste or 10 mm for mortar, the material has achieved its initial set. The time required to achieve this degree of hardening is reported as the test result. So dear friends, this is all about fly ash used in mortars and different tests. Write your opinion in the comment section of this video. You can also check the playlist related to construction materials and building materials in my channel. If you enjoy this video, please like it, share, comment and also subscribe my channel for getting latest upcoming construction materials and building materials related videos first. So dear friends, let's meet in another video. Thank you very much.